Welcome to this brand new episode. I've just received my new prototype board from Thibaut. In this video, I will show you the device and how to install the attached software. Let's have a look and start unboxing. Okay, so this is the box which I received from Thibaut. And let's open the box and see what's inside. And the first thing you see is some protection. And when you remove this layer of paper, you can see all the components delivered with the kit itself. First of all, there is a CD with some installation software and some other very, very useful papers. So yeah, let's put that away. And see what else is inside the box. This is the Wi-Fi transmitter. It's covered in a plastic layer. And it took me a while to get rid of the plastic wrap, as you can see. I said it would take a while. So there we are. And you can set the antenna into a certain angle for optimal and wonderful signal. So let's put that away for later. Okay, so let's get rid of this protection layer. Oh, we almost forgot to mention the power adapter. This is a specific power adapter for the board, and it has a small and special connector. But this is not the most important part of the kit, so let's start unwrapping the board and put this away. Okay, so first I'll remove some plastic protection. And there it is, the Thibaut development kit. Okay, so this is the board itself. It has a, has a lot of components attached to it. And I will show you some of them in the next couple of minutes. And this is the sticker, you can see the model number and some other information. And when we turn the board upside down, uh, well, we can see a row of green and red LEDs. Now I will show you the bridge. And this is the bridge that connects the processing part with the output part of the board. On the processing side, there is a Wi-Fi module connected with a wire to the antenna socket. And next to the antenna socket, there is a row of LEDs, six yellow and the others are green and red. These are two serial ports connected to the PCB right here. And you can also disconnect the wires from it. And this is the Ethernet RT45 connector. And next to it, you can see some buttons. And next to it, there's a power terminal. And all these components are connected to the main processor. And also a couple of other components. And this is the back side. And that's all. Okay, so let's get this idea out of the paper in which it was delivered. And it has software, drivers, firmware and documentation on it. And put this in the computer and let's see what's going to happen. So let's open the CD and there are a couple of options. Install the PC somewhere, change the device firmware, view presentation demos and the view the manuals and documentation. So the first documentation we're going to see is the hardware manual. Okay, and here we can see some information about the boards, they sell at Tibo and the other components. And you can also see some specific, specific information of your board. Okay, so let's close this window. You can see the basic manual. And in this uh, manual, you can read some information about the Tibo language, which is also very useful. And remember to upload the correct firmware before using the Tibo software. Okay, so let's go back and install the PC software first. Hit 2, because you want to use your Tibo device as a basic controller. And click 1. And just follow the standard installation procedure. And finish. 
Okay, so this is the Tide software with a menu. Open a new project and it's very important to choose the correct device from the list. That's all! See you next episode!